Yo, what's up guys, it's Pager here. So today I'm making a video on why I think Kyle Smith will be named the GM of the Washington Redskins very soon. And so yeah, if you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. Turn the notifications on so you never miss a video. So let's get into it. So Kyle Smith, as you guys know, was promoted to Vice President of Player Personnel in January. So he's before he was kind of more in the college realms and scouting and stuff. Now he's both uh, scouting or college and pro. He's also, he was the head of the draft process in the last couple of years, kind of in the head of the draft uh, process. He did the big boards, but really Bruce Allen and Jan Schneider had more say than him at the final pick, especially in the first couple of rounds because we heard Haskins was more Snyder and Allen's pick. But this year he's going to be almost in full control. Obviously Dan Snyder has final say, but he's going to be less involved than he has been in the last few years. Also, Ron Rivera will have a little bit of input, but Kyle Smith will be in charge of the full draft process. And I think uh, Kyle Smith will be evaluated on how he does in the draft and in free agency. If he does good, I think Ky uh, Ron Rivera will hire him as GM or promote him to GM. If he doesn't, then I think they're going to think about it. Maybe get a few guys from outside, which I will mention in the later half of the video. But I think this is Kyle Smith's job to lose. If he does well, like I said, he's going to get promoted. If he does good in the draft, if he does not, then that's when we see people from the outside. He has a very good connection with Ron Rivera because his father, Kyle Smith's father, was a GM for the Chargers when Ron Rivera was coaching there. Not as a head coach, but when he was coaching there. So uh, Ron Rivera knows Kyle Smith since he was a kid. So like I said, great connection there. The change though, he's not gonna get promoted most likely until after the draft because that's when obviously Ron Rivera will see how he does. So it could be early May, late April, or maybe even June, but I do think they will get a uh, GM before the season ends or before the off season ends and before the season starts. But he has had a great, pretty good track record in getting great players. Last year in the first round, picked Haskins. That really wasn't him necessarily. That was more Snyder, but that could end up being a good pick, obviously. We'll see how he pans out. Pick Sweat at 26, very good pickup. And in the third round, steal of the draft, in my opinion, you got Terry McLaurin, stud receiver. And in the fourth round, you got Bryce Love. We still don't know about that could be a baller and you got Cole Holcomb I believe in the fifth round who had over 100 tackles I think very good linebacker just isn't great in coverage but as a first year player played amazing and could potentially potentially be a pro bowl linebacker if he's put in the right system with Jack Del Rio and he's utilized right and then you got Jimmy Moreland in the seventh round who played okay last year played very well for a seventh rounder but played good in general and got Kelvin Harmon in the sixth round. And he also has built our defensive lineup with uh, Jonathan Allen and Jerron Payne. So he's he's had very good drafts in the last few years. And that's really with – he has been the head of it. Like in like when I say head of it, he's like done the big boards. But really, he hasn't had all say in it. So this year is really his first draft where he's pretty much going to get – it's like picking almost every player with a little bit of input from Ron Rivera. But yeah, I think, I really think there's like a 70% chance that Kyle Smith is promoted to GM. He spoke at the podium at the combine, like I said, seemed pretty good. I'll pull up some quotes from it, but yeah, I really like what he's been doing. I think we'll see how he handles free agency and the draft. But expect that to be him to be named soon. Uh, Ian Rappaport said Smith will be evaluated and will be a candidate uh, for a general manager per Ian Rappaport. That was February 7th. So, yeah, I think there's a pretty good chance that he becomes GM. So next, I'll do some candidates that I think that if Kyle Smith fails, I think that either right after the draft or later in the season, they will promote maybe possibly Lewis Riddick, who has been, been linked to the Redskins for the last few years. He was director of player personnel 
from 2001 to 2007 with the Redskins, also worked with the Eagles, has been a, been a great talent evaluator, picked a bunch of great players when he was in Washington, including Sean Taylor and uh, amongst others. He also was with the Eagles, picked a bunch of great players there. I'll probably have those players in the description below because I don't know all of them from the top of my head. But yeah, I think he would be great. And most importantly, he has very good faith in Dwayne Haskins. I think after his pro day in Ohio State last season, last year, uh, Lewis Riddick was raving about him, saying that was one of the best pro days that a quarterback has had that he's ever seen. And he loves Dwayne Haskins, says he doesn't like how he was – but what situation he was put in last year with the Redskins and think that the Redskins could be ruining him, how they handled him last year. But he also said, like he said he, yesterday in a tweet, he said he hates how everyone or people are calling him a bust and says that he played very well at the end of the season with a bad head coach and an offense that was not run around him or through him. So, yeah, that's that's I would say that's like the second leading candidate and then number three is Rick Smith, who did meet with us before Ron Rivera was hired about possibly being our president. And But then Ron Rivera got fired, so uh, Dan Snyder met with Ron Rivera instead and hired him, and Ron Rivera didn't want to hire Rick Smith. So Rick Smith could be a possibility. He was a GM of the Texans a couple of years ago, did okay there, but... I really think it's between Kyle Smith and if he doesn't get it, Lewis Riddick. There's also another name, Jeff Ireland, who was with the Saints, is still with the Saints, an assistant GM there, has obviously had a great track record. Pick Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara, Marshawn Lattimore. So very good pickups. But I think 70% chance for Kyle Smith, probably 15 to 20% for Lewis Riddick, and the rest is for the field, whoever else. I think Lewis Riddick, though, could still get a spot in the organization, not necessarily being GM. There, I don't, I don't necessarily advocate for him being president, but there is a. Pre we don't have technically a president of the team, so we still need to fill that spot up. Some teams don't have that, and really, Ron Rivera is acting like that right now. So we'll see about that. But overall, like I said, I think Kyle Smith will be named GM right after the draft if he does well. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think this is a pretty good move if it happens. Kyle Smith has had a great track record the last few years, has run with the organization for 10 years, is familiar with the people below him. And yeah, so just let me know. And also let me know who you would like if Kyle Smith, if you don't like Kyle Smith, who else would you want to pick up with it, uh, being Lewis Riddick, Rick Smith, or someone from within the organization. Thanks for watching and peace.